If you like rom-coms you should definitely watch our picks for the best rom-coms of the 1990s that everyone must watch. We hope you will enjoy this list and let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe for more content. You work on commission, right? Uh, yes. Big mistake. Big. Huge. Pretty Woman With Julia Roberts, the queen of romantic comedies herself, as leading Lady Vivian, alongside a dashing Richard Gere as Edward, Pretty Woman was bound to be yet another rom-com classic. The story revolves around Vivian, a sex worker who Edward hires to play his girlfriend for the week. Despite the taboo nature of Vivian's occupation and the circumstances of her meeting with Edward, the pair are given a healthy and well-rounded romantic story. If I forget to tell you later, I had a really good time tonight. While he was still with the Partridge family, uh, I think I love you. And, uh, uh, better get on. Look. That was very romantic. Four Weddings and a Funeral Awkward, floppy-haired, stuttering romantic Englishman Charles played by Hugh Grant and his group of friends seem to be unlucky in love. When Charles meets a beautiful American named Carrie played by Andy McDowell at a wedding, he thinks his luck may have changed. But, after one magical night, Carrie returns to the States, ending what might have been, as Charles and Carrie's paths continue to cross, over a handful of weddings and one funeral, he comes to believe they are meant to be together. Charles, I'd like you to meet Hamish, my fiancé. You. Ew! Get off of me! Ugh, as if! Clueless. Based on Jane Austen's Emma. Cher Horowitz is a shallow Beverly Hills princess of hidden depth with a heart as big as her dad's bank account played brilliantly by Alicia Silverstone in a generation-defining performance. The queen bee of her local high school sets her sights on a new project, turning the clueless new student, Ty, played by Brittany Murphy, into an it girl like herself. Cher ends up finding this effort to be erroneous, as Ty overtakes her as the most popular girl in school the reality check of which prompts character development, and her subsequently falling for her former stepbrother, Josh, played by Paul Rudd. This timeless film is well worth at least one annual screening. Has there ever been a better teen comedy? As if! She jumped on the tracks. You jumped on the tracks? She is family. She's the fiancé, you idiot. While you were sleeping. This story about love at second sight goes to show that sometimes the one arrives when we've let our guard down. Or anyway, that's what Lucy, played by Sandra Bullock, who sells tickets for the Chicago L train comes to understand as she gets to know Jack played by Bill Pullman, while pretending to be his comatose brother's fiancé. Yes, you heard that right. Hey, remember her? Should I? You're engaged. To who? To Lucy. Who's Lucy? You. Complete me. And I just had... Shut up. Just shut up. You had me at hello. Jerry Maguire. When slick sports agent Jerry Maguire, played by Tom Cruise, got fired, he starts his own management firm, with only single mother Dorothy Boyd, played by Renee Zellweger, joining him in his new venture. Banking on their only client, football player Rod Tidwell, played by Cuba Gooding Jr., Jerry and Dorothy begin to fall in love as they struggle to make their business work. This movie has given us so much, from you had me at hello to show me the money. It even taught us that a human head weighs eight pounds. A human head weighs eight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the truth about cats and dogs. Abby, played by Jane Ann Garofalo, hosts a popular radio show about pets. When Brian Ben Chaplin calls in to ask about his quirky dog, the two surprisingly hit it off. Brian pushes for a date with Abby, who is shy and a bit insecure, 
so she talks her ditzy gorgeous neighbor Noelle, played by Uma Thurman into taking her place. While the confused and oblivious Brian tries to figure out why his date is so different from the host he spoke to, Ebby must work up the nerve to confess, as Noelle is also falling for Brian. <coughs> Exactly four days to break up a wedding, steal the bride's fella, and I haven't one clue how to do it. My best friend's wedding. When Julian, career focused food critic, played by Julia Roberts, hears that her best friend Michael, played by Dermot Mulroney, is getting married this weekend, she realizes that she's in love with him. The bride, Kimmy, played by Cameron Diaz, is beautiful, wealthy, smart, tasteful, and sensitive. Obviously, she'll have to go. Installed as maid of honor, Julianne has four days to win back her man and prevent the marriage. The real highlight is Rupert Everett, who plays Julia's troublemaking gay best friend with devilish flair. <laughs> Congratulations. What? And don't forget, I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her Notting Hill Notting Hill unfolds like a modern day fairy tale as a wildly famous American movie star and a Scot played by Julia Roberts falls in love with Will a humble shopkeeper played by Hugh Grant it checks all the boxes the meet cute the wacky friends the lovable stars with electric chemistry and a skill for adorably awkward entanglements. Thanks to its stars, as well as the careful writing by Richard Curtis, Notting Hill hits all the requisite notes just right. Last film you did. What did you get paid? Fifteen million dollars. Right. Oh my gosh, you get to be seventeen again. <laughs> Are you sure you're seventeen? I'm seventeen. I'm 17. <laughs> Never Been Kissed Josie Geller, played by Drew Barrymore, a baby-faced junior copywriter at the Chicago Sun-Times, must pose as a student at her former high school to research contemporary teenage culture. With the help of her brother, Rob, played by David Arquette, Josie infiltrates the inner circle of the most popular girls on campus. But, she hits a major snag in her investigation when she falls for her dreamy English teacher, Sam Coulson, played by Michael Varden. We dare you not to swoon while watching Ledger performing, can't take my eyes off of you. Ten Things I Hate About You This movie is a modernization of Shakespeare's comedy, The Taming of the Shrew, retold in a late 1990s American high school setting. Kat Stratford, played by Julia Stiles, is beautiful, smart and quite abrasive to most of her fellow teens, meaning that she doesn't attract many boys. Unfortunately for her younger sister, Bianca, played by Larissa Alenik, House rules say that she can't date until Kat has a boyfriend, so strings are pulled to set the young lady up for a romance. Soon Kat crosses pads with handsome bad boy Patrick Verona, played by Heath Ledger. Will Kat let her guard down enough to fall for the effortlessly charming Patrick? I hate it when you make me laugh, even worse when you make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> 